In these clips, we see Japanese aircraft and surface targets under attack by P-51 Mustangs. Allied fighter pilots would open fire only when enemy targets were within range. The intent of this video is to review the factors which define the maximum effective range of U.S. fighters at 1,200 feet or 400 yards. We will review the results of 3,600 fighter encounters where the combat effectiveness of the engagement was assessed based on U.S. fighter attacking range. We will also consider under what limited conditions a fighter can attack at distances beyond 400 yards. This page from a 1946 National Defense Research Committee document titled Airborne Fire Control outlines the importance of range estimation in aerial gunnery. In aerial gunnery, the gunner must decide when to open fire. He should open fire when the target is in the weapon system's effective range and has accounted for all the factors that affect the bullet's trajectory and penetration power, such that they will strike the target. 50 caliber bullets, maximum lethal range equates to 4 miles, as shown on this page from a 1944 aircrew gunnery manual. We will discuss the many factors which limit the effective range to around 6% of this distance. A sign in the fighter gunnery ground school room read, The penalty for sleeping in this class is death, as shown on this page from a 1944 Army Air Forces Training Command document titled Fighter Gunnery. The closer you attack the target, the deadlier the bullet hits. Bullet strike accuracy is better at 500 feet than at 1,000 feet. Fighter minimum range equates to 450 feet and the maximum range equates to 1,200 feet or 400 yards. These four ballistic influences and other factors affect the bullet's trajectory. This chart summarizes the range zones for World War II fighters, where the firing distances between 450 and 750 feet are in the ideal sweet spot kill zone. Between 750 and 1,200 feet is the effective zone, and over 1,200 feet or 400 yards is considered out of range or in effective range. This page from a 1945 Fighter Gunnery School Air Forces training manual titled Fighter Gunnery Rocket Firing Dive Bombing outlines factors that limit the maximum range and best range of a fighter's guns. Pilots must know the weapons platform's maximum firing range. Pilots tend to fire at ranges too far away. Maximum range is not defined by the bullet's maximum distance or its loss in penetrating power. Maximum range is defined as a distance where bullet accuracy and dispersion become an issue. Small sighting errors are not significant at closer target ranges, but become significant at longer ranges. At a 1,000-foot target distance, an expert pilot would struggle to maintain his gun sight within 5 or 6 feet of the target, whereas a target distance of 1,500 feet, this value is 8 or 9 feet. An enemy fighter's vital target area roughly equates to 6 to 8 feet in diameter. Just accurately holding the gun sight on the target is difficult at longer ranges. Let's deep dive on a couple points discussed from this reference. This page outlines the results of a study reviewing bomber gunners' range estimation. World War II studies showed bomber gunners generally misjudged range by a factor of two. Bomber gunners tended to open fire at ranges twice the gun's effective range. This page from a 1944 B-29 gunner's information file document outlines effective gun ranges of the B-29 bomber and enemy aircraft. B-29's effective range is 900 yards, while enemy aircraft's effective range equates to 400 yards. B-29 gunners can open fire accurately at ranges of 900 yards, while enemy bomber interceptor's effective range is limited to 400 yards, like U.S. fighters. This table from a 20th Bomber Command operational intelligence document titled Enemy Tactics describes the distances of combat encounters between Japanese bomber interceptors and B-29s. The Japanese pilots open fire in 43% of encounters, while B-29 gunners open fire during 83% of encounters. 82% of Japanese bomber interceptors open fire at ranges beyond 500 yards, which is outside their effective range of 400 yards. This indicates poor Japanese pilot experience and ability. Like U.S. pilots and bomber gunners, Japanese pilots tended to misjudge target range. A bullet's penetrating power is proportional to its kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is defined as one-half mv squared where M is a bullet mass and V is a bullet strike velocity. This graph shows the remaining velocity of a 50 caliber bullet as a function of the distance from its firing location from an August 1944 War Department document titled Harmonization of Fixed Guns and Sights. 
Bullets slow down due to air resistance. For a 50 caliber bullet fired from a plane traveling at 200 miles per hour at an altitude of 3,000 feet, its muzzle velocity equates to 2,700 feet per second. The bullet speed drops to 2,268 feet per second at a range of 400 yards. While the bullet's velocity drops 16% over this distance, its penetrating power dropped by 30%. That's 30% less penetrating power within the enemy airplane's engine block, plane armor, and other vital components. A machine gun fires an aeroballistic burst at a target, as defined in this 1946 National Defense Research Committee document titled Analytical Studies in Aerial Warfare. Bullets will not follow the exact path of the preceding bullet. A measurable bullet strike dispersion distribution will occur at the target. By firing a large number of bullets, it is expected some will strike the vital part of the target. This is a pollination approach to target destruction. Bullets do not travel through the same hole. Due to vibrations of the gun in the airplane, the bullets strike the target over a measurable area. This is a cone of dispersion. As the target distance increases, the strike area increases. This is one factor that limits the effective range between 450 and 1200 feet. In this example, 30 caliber bullet strike results from an AT-6 trainer's guns were measured at a distance of 750 feet. The cone of dispersion is bounded by the bullet's trajectories. The 4-foot diameter circle encompasses 100% of the 30 caliber bullet strikes. For multiple wing-mounted guns, it is desirable to overlap these bullet strike areas to provide a concentration of fire within the effective range. Since there are tolerances in the bullet's mass properties and propellant, there will be variations in the bullet's trajectories fired from the same gun. Guns also vibrate when fired and planes vibrate. These factors cause bullet strike scatter at the target. A bullet strike pattern dispersion area can be measured by the mill angle defined at the muzzle. A mill is short for milliradians. One milliradian equates to 0 .0573 degrees. The 50 caliber armor-piercing bullet strikes from a P-38 fighter single gun at a target distance of 750 feet are shown in this image. 75% of the rounds were grouped within a 35.7 inch diameter circle and 100% of the rounds were grouped within a 71.3 inch diameter circle. This shaded zone represents the area where 75% of the rounds struck. The cone of dispersion for this gun equates to 4 mils for 75% of the strikes and 8 mils for 100% of the strikes. To calculate the 75% cone of dispersion, we need the angle alpha given the 9,000 inch range and the 17.85 inch target strike radii. The angle equates to 0.1136 degrees. Double this value to calculate the cone of dispersion at 0.2272 degrees. Now convert degrees to milliradians. The 75% bullet strike cone of dispersion equates to 4 milliradians or 4 mils. We can label the 4 mil cone of dispersion angle here. A 4 mil cone of dispersion is a standard adopted for 50 caliber fighter gun harmonization computations. Each of the fighter's 50 caliber machine guns will fire 75% of their bullets within a 4 mil cone. This equates to a 50 caliber cone strike diameter of 4.75 feet at a range of 1200 feet. This page outlines the P-51 Mustang's D model's bullet dispersion trajectory patterns at various target distances from the muzzle. The Mustang's gun sight is along this dotted line. Each of the six guns have two trajectory lines originating from the muzzle. For example, this shaded zone bounds the bullets from the lower outboard gun where 75% of the bullet strikes are bounded by the 4 mil cone of dispersion. The six wing-mounted guns are towed in so the bullets intersect at different distances within the maximum effective range. This provides a longer distance of maximum effective fire. The minimum firing range is 450 feet and the maximum range is set to 1200 feet. These images show the 1G 75% strike pattern for all six machine guns. At 1200 feet, the four mil six gun patterns are bounded by this zone which is roughly eight feet by eight feet. Each gun's 4 mil cone of dispersion is a circle at 4.75 feet in diameter. Also notice the overlapping gun strikes start to lose their concentration at distances below 600 feet and above 1500 feet. These plots show the downward shift in the strike pattern when the pilot fires while in a positive load factor maneuver. While firing in a 2G maneuver, the 1000 foot distance strike pattern shifts down by 6.8 feet. 3G. 13.7 feet, and 4G, 20.4 feet. An enemy fighter's vital target zone is roughly 8 feet by 8 feet, as shown on this page from a 1943 Bureau of Aeronautics training manual titled, 
Offensive tactics against fighters. Don't fire with a burst in prayer. A fighter's vulnerable zone is small. Don't shoot at the fuselage and tail. Aim at the fighter's engine, fuel, and oil tanks, and pilot. A 50 caliber bullet will drop by 4 feet over a 1,200 foot effective range due to gravity. This drop is taken into account during the gun sight to gun harmonization process. Beyond 1,200 feet, this correction is difficult for a pilot to account for. Gun barrels are grooved to impart a trajectory stabilizing rotation on the bullet. Bullet rotation increases its accuracy and keeps them from tumbling. Bullets will drift in the direction of rotation. This error is small enough to ignore. A 50 caliber bullet spins at 2,160 revolutions per second, and the bullet's drift to the right equates to 7 inches at 1,000 yards, which can be ignored. The effect of slips, skids, and g-forces on a bullet's trajectory are listed on this page. If you open fire from a stable, well-coordinated position with the guns and the gun sight aligned, bullet strikes are predictable, like in this image. Firing when the plane is in a slip or skid, misalignment occurs between the gun sight and the bullet ballistics, like shaded in this image. A 10 degree skid causes a bullet strike to miss 26 feet when at the effective range limit. This error value will be larger if firing over the 1200 foot maximum range. Firing while under high G-forces affect the bullet strike location. Minimize G-forces while firing. Slight G-forces within range are not too much of a concern, but will be an issue at longer ranges. This page summarizes the justification limiting a fighter's maximum effective range to 1,200 feet. The effect of fighter slips and skids occur at any range. High G-forces minimize by trying to maintain a 1G vertical load factor when firing. The effect of propellant or penetrating power, gravity, air resistance, or cone of dispersion are not an issue unless you exceed the 1,200 feet effective range. This page lists examples of targets which the fighter will fire upon when within the effective range. The 1,200 foot effective range applies to air and ground targets which require concentrated fire. This includes aircraft in the air or on the ground, trains, tanks, and ships. The consequences of firing beyond the effective range are shown on this page from a December 1943 fighter pilot gunnery manual. Actual combat encounters prove over and over again the maximum fighter open fire range is at a distance of 1,000 feet. A film review of 3,600 combat engagements were assessed. Only one out of every 14 planes were shot down at open firing distances between 1 and 2,000 feet whereas 10 out of every 14 airplanes were shot down when the pilot opened fire at distances less than 1,000 feet. These images show the 1 kill out of 14 engagements between 1 and 2,000 feet and the 10 kills out of 14 engagements when the firing distance was less than 1,000 feet. This page lists targets which can be fired upon beyond the 1,200 foot range. This includes ground personnel, invasion barges, and anti-aircraft gun crews and ships are on the ground. Open fire distances of 2,000 feet are needed for head-on attacks due to the fast closing speeds. If you've enjoyed this fighter effective range deep dive review and found it worthy of your time, please consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing to the channel World War II U.S. Bombers.